Hello everyone. I'm here to give a little bit of a testimony or just like an update of where I'm at right now. I have to confess I'm completely like trembling and I'm having like so many different experiences. It's a little overwhelming. Um, some have prophesied this before and made it very obvious that it's like very ugly and messy. Uh, the whole uh, being baptized in the Holy Spirit, that it's violent, it's very violent. And I can testify to that uh, for myself. Uh, I'm losing so many people. Um, my family doesn't believe in Christ. And I'm not saying I'm losing my family. Um, I am losing a lot of different supporters. I also wanna say I'm currently in the car with a woman I barely even know. And I've become a believer in something that is known as the Most High. And this most high person being thing omnipresent, I'm, I'm still learning how to talk about its existence. Um, for a long time I've talked about it in ways uh, from different places of the heart of like coming to understand God. And in some places I was praising things that might not have been God, you could say, right? Like praising this world or praising the approval of men and women, you know, like comfort and idols from that place and I'm not gonna go into um, like a sermon right now you know I just I just wanted to share that for me right now um, things are a little challenging some of you know that I recently deleted my OnlyFans and some of you don't even know what that is and I say praise God that you don't know what that is um, OnlyFans is a website that is known to be used by individuals who make money off of photographs and videos of their body and it's not always uh, sensual material, but it is uh, mostly, uh, uh, there's a word I'd like to use for this, it is called, it's with a P, promiscuity, <laughs> like this, and uh, you know, I'm not condemning that in any way, uh, you know, I can't, I've lived that way, let's put it that way, okay, so I, I know what it's like, I know what it's like to be seeking pleasure, because I'm so hurt, especially in the place of my privates. Those places were hurt at two years old and 15 and who knows how many other times. Um, I've lost track. And uh, I, I, I add that with uh, the defense of uh, herpes. Having an STD, that's what I mean by that too, not uh, having my boundaries crossed. <laughs> So I'd love to go into total transparency of, my, again, my personal testimony. I just don't feel like uh, right now might not be the exact time. But I'd love to tell kind of the whole story. And and um, my, I want to speak on what my intention is. My intention isn't to get money from anybody. Or like really to gain anything. I mean, I have, I will confess there's one thing I, th I thought about gaining. But, I, but maybe it's not my thought. I don't know. Uh... I'm gonna speak it out loud, okay? If there can be one person that comes to heaven that I meet in the kingdom, one person that I can get to turn back from where I came from, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> There's a story like that. And so uh, I feel like it's not a joke anymore. I used to make jokes about this stuff. And I've just had certain experiences and I could tell stories of ayahuasca and what God has revealed for me. <laughs> to some, I can't even go there. So this isn't really something meant to be completely publicized. But if anyone is curious or hungry, I will happily privately video chat you for free and talk with you for endless hours about this. And I will help you get in the right direction too, like, properly plugged into local communities who aren't going to condemn you for loving Buddha or like whatever thing that you think a Christian is going to do to you. you feel me? I'm like spitting and I'm like, Lord, like you feel me? but like I'm serious. I'm so serious and my heart's just in a different place and I'm not here to curse or uh, criticize. I just have like so much love and again I'm really shook up. I'm still really shook up. Let me also just add I just came back from a tent revival and I didn't even really know what this is and I'll be honest I kind of still don't know what it is like not to be able to speak like a tent revival is this is this is this right like I'm not there like I'm gonna say what the guy on stage said 
his name was Ezekiel. <laughs> he said, I'm saved for a year. So he says he's just a baby. And I feel like, I feel like I can relate to that. Like I don't have the exact date. We could say that I was baptized. I was baptized again. Like now as an adult, like I was baptized at eight years old by my mom's friend, Dottie. Praise Dottie, right? She might be passed away now. I don't know. Um, but she worked with my mom at Denny's. And this woman got me baptized at eight years old. And I remember that. And I really think that I was saved that day or something like that. There's something bigger going on. And it's funny because Dottie, right? Connect the dots. And also um, I think of like timelines. You know, this will resonate with some other people. Then other people will be able to follow with dot and dash. Some people know what I'm talking about. This is code language stuff, right? And I don't just mean extraterrestrials and light languages and all the other timelines and all the things that are about to come in the future. I'm speaking from a very different position. Um, but I was going to say that my date of being baptized technically is May 28th of this year. So even though I've been in this process of deliverance, right? Like maybe I can only count my day of really being saved as the day that I jumped into that sea and I came amongst all those marine spirits you could say right all those devils in the sea <laughs> that uh queen of the sea are like all those different entities i want to make silliness about this in some levels but again there's a level of uh, uh seriousness i don't have another word i was going to try to use another word uh, but like that and um some of you may not understand the path and some of you may not ever want to hear or be able to hear or just won't be able to come into proximity. Um, there's some Christians that would condemn what I'm about to say, but I'm not going to hide this, what was revealed to me. I have, as you know, I've read the Quran and in the opening of the statement, it talks about God in a way that maybe it talks about in the Bible, but again, I'm a baby. I'm a baby. It says that God makes it so they cannot hear or see God. That that is their punishment. And perhaps that is not the God of today. Right? So I'm not, I'm not saying any of these things. I'm just saying that that verse to me has always been interesting. That we chose to ignore God and to have another idol. Right? This person on social media. The person sitting next to me. A person in the room. What their opinion is of me. Instead of God's opinion of me. And so I've shut God out and I don't hear God anymore. I don't see God anymore because that was my demand. I put so many walls up. I did so many things that were against God, right? Some would say, some Christians would probably say sin right now, right? And that's probably true. There's probably some little truth of that, which is why the Holy Spirit is revealing that to me. And again, I'm still in my process of deliverance, so I don't want to lead anyone astray. So that's why I say that very clearly. I am not Jesus. I'm not God. I'm not here to tell you what to do. What's a sin for me might not be a sin for you. For me, it could be a sin for me to put on makeup and to say that I hate God's creation and that I need this coal, right, from Egypt for my protection. This eyeliner, these things, right, these works to earn favor or to fit in to the culture of this world. But I don't subscribe to those ideologies anymore, or those theologies or uh, philosophies or there's another word. Principalities. Thank you. Yeah, I don't subscribe to those anymore. I might unconsciously and I might slip up. And I'm happy to be called out. And again, what's a sin for me might not be a sin for you. And what's a sin for you might not be a sin for me. So please don't come at me about saying Jesus doesn't approve of this or this or this or this or this or this. Don't eat this. That's unclean to be with that person. Blah, 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 blah. I can promise you the heart of him who is with me and in me, I don't think feels... I don't think he feels or thinks those things. And if you want to fight me on this, I'll see you in the courts of heaven. And let Jesus be the judge between us both, okay? I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you again. Peace. Shalom.